Welcome everybody. I'm gonna take a look today at a 2022 Heartland Landmark Chesapeake, shown here in black and tan. On the outside, you've got two full-length awnings. Both of them are metal wrapped, uh, so that when they're in, there's no sun exposure to your vinyl. Heavy duty more ride pin. You'll see the generator prep standard on all landmarks. Coming through, hydraulic auto level controls, the new more ride storage tray. It does retract, large basement. You'll have 30 pound propane bottles on both sides. We'll double back to the other. You'll see the more ride solid steps, outdoor TV, and as you can see, full body paint, tip to stern, top to bottom. There's your landmark solid steps as well as some of your hydraulic landing gear. This coach has not been leveled yet. Here we've got a shot at the 17 inch aluminum wheels that are wrapped around, uh, or I should say that are wrapped in the Saloon 16 ply trailer tire, all mounted to a uh, more ride heavy duty suspension, shackles, hangers, again, full body paint. Moving her on around, we'll catch some of the off door side. Power cord reel, two sewer flushes. This is an outdoor um, access door to get to a uh, trash can that is kept underneath the cabinets. This is a four slide unit. Moving on around, we'll come up to the UDC where you'll have your inline water filter system, your Anderson four-way valve, all of your tank emptying handles, as well as your bypass. There's another one of your propane bottles. And then we'll go up and catch a quick look at the front before we head inside. Okay, like I said, this is the Heartland Landmark Chesapeake, which is a middle den with Thomas Paine furniture. You'll see the standard Landmark coffee table with the raising roof, 42 inch upper cabinets all the way to the ceiling in the rear kitchen. Have a slide in the kitchen that opens up, housing your fridge, pantry way, convection microwave, the new Insignia household range. You see the stainless steel farmhouse style sink solid service countertops, and then we'll glance up into that mid-den. I did fail to show you the residential refrigerator. This is an Insignia French door style. Small details in the Landmark will include the wireless phone chargers, under cabinet lighting, like that. Really nice residential style light fixtures. This is a three air conditioner unit. You'll have three separate sets of return vents. 50 inch TV, tons of storage cabinets, electric fireplace, stereo system, sleeper sofa on the off door slide, expandable dinette to seat four on the door side slide. Here you'll see all of the hardwood valances housing the MCD roller shades, uh, as well as the side valances to keep the shades from bouncing around when in transit. The love seat, here you'll see it's partially reclined already. These controls will allow you to have massage heat and automatic power open and close. Again, all the furniture here is from the Thomas Paine collection from Lippert Components. 
It's actually the landmark collection by Thomas Paine. So then we'll move up. We've got some pretty neat controls, lots of automation in the landmark line. The in command system powers on. In this case, default code was 0000. All your separate controls. We can even go so much as to say climate. And then there are three different AC zones available. So you'll have all of your uh, component controls, air conditioning, lights, things like that, power management system tied in to allow for the use of three air conditioners on the shore power, and then your Yeti package, a TNS standard. We order all of our landmarks to be able to go anywhere in the country. As we take a look here, we've got a half bath that is off the den. See some large linen closets, medicine cabinet, vanity there, and your commode for the half bath. We've got at the head of the staircase our utility closet for breakers and fuses. And then we do have a coat closet and some various storage here at the head of the staircase. Powering through to the master bedroom as we hit the top of the staircase. Large, long dresser. Television pre-mounted. Roller shades, standard throughout. And then we've got our king size bed, backlit headboard, reading spotlights all on the bed slide. And the bed is a, an auto tilting bed. So it's a 12 volt mechanism that will sit this mattress up into a seated position, creating more space. Once you've gotten out of bed during the morning, you see just how much floor space has been opened up here in the bedroom. And now as we get up to the head of the bed and turn back around, all kinds of walk space and floor space, getting dressed, putting on your shoes, so on and so forth. Both sides of the bed have individual lighting control as well as USB ports for convenience, modern convenience. Got a separate in-command control system here for the bathroom here in the master. As we come in, you see the large walk-in shower, teak seat, upgraded oil rub bronze hardware, got our commode, and step into the shower and look back at the, the vanity, medicine cabinet area, excuse me, trying to stay out of the frame for you. And finally, the master closet, very large walk-in closet, residential style, the landmark standard hand safe, as well as the rechargeable Dyson vacuum, tons of hanging space, built-in shelving, plenty of floor space. That's our bedding for the bed. We're gonna wait to break that out, as well as the third and fourth folding chairs. And finally, our utility closet with full washer and dryer hookup capabilities on an exterior wall able to be vented. So, walk you back down through. Hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the 2022 Heartland Landmark Chesapeake. Check us out, www.tsrvs.com. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all of it. We'll see you soon. Take care.